So could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. I'm Rasmig, co-founder and CEO of Vicky. Okay. And Vicky is, well, we first met two years ago uh, when Vicky was a crowdsourced subtitling platform for, uh, right. for Asian territories South in South particular. West, yeah. yeah. Um, how's that developed since? How's it going? Has developed. So um, we came out of beta December 2nd, 2010, so we're literally about two, two and a half years old. I think we met right around that time. And we're building a, the best place to watch global primetime content, be it TV series or movies from around the world. So if you will, Hulu for the rest of the world. But uh, it's powered by a community of passionate and avid fans who translate this content for free. It's crowdsourced in more than 156 languages now. We are 24 million users. Mobile has grown insanely over the last six months, about 8 million installs on mobile, uh, fairly active. And we're in every country, and with content from dozens of countries. So we're here to uh, keep expanding. Thanks for having me. That's, that's our pleasure. So what you were explaining to me was that um, you you get content, yeah. and the community subtitles it, yes. a bit like pirates do, but in a in a legal way, and then that helps the content spread even further. Yes. So what we have is a community where they organize around content by channel. A channel can be a TV series or a movie. These are highly passionate fans that would go and recruit an emergency room nurse that speaks the two languages of a show just to get the nuance right or go recruit a lawyer. So what we have is every content we license, we get the rights to create translations as well in as many languages as, uh, as possible, be it for the home country or around the world. Um, and we get it up on Viki and fans basically localize it. And you can see 500 fans even on average licensing one piece of content or translating one uh, piece of content and yeah, just to see it growing. So I'd say English, French, um, Arabic are becoming very popular languages now. Uh, but out of 156, there are 20, 30 languages that very quickly come on. So that's the market making component. Okay. Um, and, but now you're saying you're at Hulu for the rest of the world, that sounds pretty ambitious. What does that entail? Very ambitious. So um, we typically never license the home country. So we license content from all over the world except the home country. Typically it's cost prohibitive. And also with the subtitles, our aim is to open up a lot of new markets for content owners. So what we're doing is typically if we license, let's say, Japanese anime, we get everywhere except Japan and try and open up other markets. We even geo-block content based on where the content owners are. That keeps content costs low and it creates an opportunity to monetize it at a premium because we're taking it to new places. So we created a bit of an arbitrage for the content owner where we're not cannibalizing, we're additively opening new markets. And at the same time, revenues are strong that we keep investing back in the licensing and uh, growing the size of the pie. Okay. So licensing U.S. shows um, in the U.S. will be competing with Netflix and Hulu. But licensing those shows, if you look at us in Southeast Asia, we look like a Hulu. We have a lot of U.S. shows, NBC, BBC, being from U.K., um, TNT, uh, Sci-Fi, USA, a &E, a bunch of those. So we look different from many different places. So in the U.S., we don't look very U.S. We're international. In Asia, we look very U.S. and international. Okay, so and it and it's on it's on the web. It's on. It's a cross platform, so we're everywhere except um, I would say consoles today. That's a big growth area for us that we're developing. Mm -hmm. But you can get it on the phone, you get it on tablets, um, you get it on Google TV right now, and you get it on Vicky.com. Okay. Translation is done only on Vicky. The rest is a viewing experience. Right. Um, so you're speaking here um, this week. What? Do, but what? Are, what are you looking for? In terms of in terms of meetings, in terms of I suppose you're looking for content. We're announcing quite a bit of content, more than 2,000 hours that uh, we worked on this quarter. Uh, we're getting output deal out of uh, Taiwan for uh, the best Taiwanese shows out there. Same out of um, Japan. We're getting the first uh, TV Asahi distribution on digital outside of Japan for Japanese dramas. Uh, getting it from ABS, CBN, so Filipino shows, Indonesian shows. We're going after uh, a lot of the Asian content pretty much with worldwide rights. Mm -hmm. And I'm exploring, I think there's about um, 28 to 40 genres we've identified that I think has sort of a wave opportunity, sort of opening up uh, to the masses globally. Um, and we mapped uh, content graph, if you will, sort of we know what's working where, why Bollywood is great in Korea, or Korean movies are great in Saudi Arabia. So with that data now, I've uh, came to arm, and I'd love to talk and see what content is on the market. Great, well, I hope it goes well. Thank you so much.